And I'm sure it's also a common question that you guys get, uh, you know, when they come, people come into the office, how do they make their money last in retirement? Financial planner Stuart Ritter shared this idea with the Wall Street Journal. One of the ways I ask people to think about it is think of your 30-year retirement as the first 15 years and the second 15 years. That second 15 years means conceptually you're not using half your money until you're 80, 85, 90, 95 years old when the cost of cruise tickets and visiting the grandkids and hip replacements are probably going to be significantly higher. So don't get so focused on what happens at 65 that you set up a portfolio just for that year. Recognize your portfolio needs to carry you through those 30 years. Again, and we're all about getting you to, through, and, and, and beyond retirement. So what is the team at America's Retirement Headquarters? What do you think of this approach when it comes to making money last? You know, Chaz, I know um, in our economic summit that we had last month, um, you, you actually got up and spoke of, actually about this very thing, mm -hmm. right? And you said the, the go, the no-go. Well, you say it better than I do. Yeah. But um, this actually is exactly what you're talking about, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. This is, a big, this is one of the main um, core tenets of my investment philosophy and my financial planning philosophy is that you can't lose the game. And I'll even tell clients that when they ask, okay, what is it that you stand for as it pertains to managing my money is that you're not going to lose the game. Meaning we want you to, we, we have to ensure that you're going to have a requisite amount of income coming in at all times for the rest of your life so that you can at least keep the bills paid and lights on and, um, you know, food on the table. Mm -hmm. And so I think first of all, um, making sure that your money lasts involves understanding that paradigm and that um, mentality that we're going to make sure that you have a minimum amount of money to keep the you know keep all of the the minimums covered. But then on some of the you know we'll call those your your needs, mm -hmm. making sure the needs are covered. But some of the wants and wishes we may leave those up to the the market's whims in such a way that sure. if maybe we can't. Um, you know, maybe if we want to take a big trip, or go on that 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 vacation that we've always wanted to go to, maybe this year may not be the right year because the market's down, your investments are down. Right. If we waited a couple of years, two or three years, maybe and the market's a little higher, we can take some from the gains of your investments to to do that. So from the summit, yeah, I think the other the other point is that when we're making sure that your money is going to last, we look at it in terms of phases for retirement. Mm -hmm. We talked about at the summit the go-go phase. This is a pretty dangerous area in terms of making sure that your money lasts is that go-go phase. And the reason is, is because uh, I'll actually have to go back a little further to say that if we don't do the right things during the transition phase, right. so for anybody that's listening between ages 50 and 55, maybe the, the, 10, the five to 10 years prior to retirement, if you're not making the right transition uh, from working in retirement to retirement, you may, you know, you're increasing your chances of uh, capitulation, basically mm -hmm. running out of money. Um, what we're talking about there is essentially moving from more of those growth-oriented investments, Scott, mm -hmm. to more of the income-oriented investments. Right. Because what you're going to notice is that retirement is all about income. Now, once we get to retirement, the second phase is where uh, in pre-retirement, early retirement, people spend a lot. Uh, they overspend often. They front end load retirement, so they buy the 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 big hot the, the the big toys and the motorcycles and the RVs, and they don't have enough. So that's a consideration. Moving from the early retirement stage into the slower go phases, um, I think one of the biggest slaps in the face to people about money is the fact that they are forced at that point to start taking money out mm -hmm. in the required minimum distributions. So if you don't recognize that we have to, you know, start taking money out of your IRAs and we haven't planned properly, there's more tax implication. Um, the, you know, the, the withdrawal that you have to take out is generally four to five percent of your account balance. So if your accounts aren't structured appropriately and we're having to sell in a down market like we are now, instead of maybe having sufficient cash in preparation for the required minimum distribution, maybe months, maybe even years in advance, mm -hmm. uh, it could also significantly alter you know, the time frame. The last uh, consideration that I would have a client make uh, would be to making sure that their money lasts would be the Social Security decision. Sure. We've, um, we've talked a lot about Social Security in almost every show. Yep. I don't think there is a segment in this one, but <laughs> thanks. Uh, but um, Social Security, a lot of people think of in terms of just an income source. We like to have our clients think about it as an asset. 
because it really is, you know, when you take a look at what amount of money you would need to have saved to be able to generate the income that Social right. Security can generate for the rest of your life, it's a close to a five to $700,000 investment, depending on how long you wait. And so that decision is probably one of the biggest decisions that a person is going to make in retirement. You know, imagine if I said, hey, you've got to do something with, you know, $800,000. You've got to make a decision about this. You'd be very, you know, careful sure, in making absolutely. that decision. Yet oftentimes when we talk to people about the Social Security decision, it's almost like a whim. It's yeah. almost like an entitlement. Like, I'm going to take it because I can. And that's the wrong decision. So in terms of making your money last, put it in the proper context and then use the right philosophy uh, with Social Security particularly. Don't overspend. Start making plans early to transition from retirement growth to retirement income. And then this is kind of your bag, though, with uh, health care and mm -hmm. long-term care. Not making a decision, you know, doing sticking the head in the sand type plan and saying we'll worry about, you know, long-term care later, I think can be disaster for a financial no plan. The one thing that'll typically blow up even the, the strongest of plans is a an extended care stay in a long-term care facility and not having to plan for it. Oh, there's no question. Medicare doesn't pay for that, and that's all out of your pocket. And if, if you're not paying for it, out of your pocket means your investments. Mm -hmm. And you're right, that would totally... Uh, decimate a, uh, um, a portfolio and a retirement plan. Yeah. So, yeah, you're right. You know, and Social Security is absolutely, you know, I run into that all the time. And people ask, well, when should I take it or should I take it now? Uh, should I wait in, at 65 or my full retirement age or wait? And, you know, it depends uh, what's going to be the best for them. Yeah. So, yeah, not, absolutely. And in, in, uh, I, I guess I keep having, you know, more, but, you know, not having monies um, lose big early in retirement. So yeah. taking out the high highs and the lows, I'd say it was probably one of the most important um, sure. factors to having your money last. If you're watching online or if you've been to ARHQ.com and you've uh, clicked on the uh, Meet Our Team site, and one of the things you'll probably notice when you when you see Chaz Price is uh, he's young or he looks young, but don't let that, that confuse you with, with inexperience, close to 20 years, which means he started at the age of 13 for this. But <laughs> the, the point remains is that when he's developing a retirement plan, he is very much banking on, you know, 30 years from now, still still being here and, and working with you. And that means he doesn't want to have that conversation down the line and says, you know what, we calculated wrong and, and you're going to run out of money. That's not a conversation he wants to have. That's not a conversation anybody at uh, the Retirement Guys Formula in America's Medicare Associates wants to have. So they make sure when they start developing the plan to make it as, as financially bulletproof as possible. And so to get started, to make sure uh, to do, you know, everything in your power to make sure your money lasts, schedule a time to speak with the team, start developing that plan, 419-794-3030. Or go to the website, ARHQ.com.